I thought you quit, Carl. Videos up, we're in. Don't touch the latex. Go. Turn around. Turn around. Walk. Code. Code. One, three, five, eight, zero. Go. One, two, two, five, seven. Go to the scrolls. Carl. Where are you? Tommy. Carl disappeared on me. I'll see if I can find him. Gently, my friend.
No sign of Carl, but he left a whole cigarette burning on the ground. Something's wrong. Hurry, they're on to you. Why are we stopping? Armed guards at an excavation site. What is Stanford doing? I don't know, but maybe he's onto something big. Yeah, well, unless he's got the Holy Grail packed in a pine box, he's pulling stakes tonight. Let's get out of here. No further. This place, Akanaktuk. Tagirk, Akanaktuk. What are you saying? He said devil storms are coming. Hey, where are you going? Hey, what are we supposed to do now? Drive down. It's right there. Go. What's he talking about storms? And the Inuit suck meteorology. Stop! What do we need? A secret code or something? Step out of the vehicle! We're, uh, we're here to see Dr. Stanford. Stay right where you are. I'm Dr. Helm from the Institute. Look at your paycheck. You might recognize my signature. Hey! Whoa! Put your hands up. Turn around. What? No. Hey! 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 No. What are you doing? What you doing? Hey, let me go. That's Ow. enough. What's going on here, Owen? Why are you here? I sent for a translator, not a babysitter. Why are these guys pointing guns at us? All right. All right. My apologies. You must be Dr. Gage. Dr. Stanford, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've read all your books. You know why I'm here, Stanford. It's your refusal to so file you assessment. Ah, familiar. 
with the Sumerian priest glyphs from the key cigarette. Kubaba dialect is one of my specialties. Okay. We need to talk, all right? You don't need to be rude, Lee. If I don't return to the Institute with something in my hands, this place goes dark tonight. So serious, isn't he? I never could simply enjoy archaeology. You want answers? Come. Dr. Gage, do you know why the indigenous people here call themselves Inuit? Inuvial wit is the correct term. Translates to real human beings. Huh. You are impressive. Real human beings? What of it? Well, the Inuit see themselves as, as chosen. They're anointed by a foreign god to protect a holy object. What holy object? Well, it's hard to tell. The Inuit themselves are impressively mum on the subject. Can't get one of them to come anywhere near the site. Yeah. So we've noticed. You all right? It was a new textual analysis that brought me here. And I found something that I'm sure will please you, Lee. What is this? Dr. Gage. It's an accounting sheet. Materials, labor, a tribute to Baal priests. A Sumerian tablet found here? Yes, a Sumerian artifact in the Arctic. <laughs> How could that be? I mean, there are no records of Sumerian priests traveling this far. I have no idea, but I'm asking you to let me keep working without oversight. Dr. Stanford, I have ice core samples. They're pure. In the freezer, please. Yeah. Well, Doctor, they have no impurities whatsoever. Yeah, fine, fine. Pure ice. What's he talking about? In the freezer, please. All right. Wait a minute. You think they're here, don't you? Think what's here? The Baal amulets. I mean, we might as well be looking for leprechaun gold in Texas. OK, I'm pretty up on my Sumerian lore, but I have no idea what you're talking about. It's a children's myth that uh, Stanford discovered in some obscure translation. Always been a fan of bedtime stories. Uh, well, see here, I can assure you this is no bedtime story. Millennia ago, the storm god Baal tampered with the seasons in order to bring people under his direct control. I know. Baal's father, El, grew angry with his son's cruelty and destroyed him. Well, not destroyed, exactly. The word in the myth is Belu. Banishment. Yes. Now, El smashed Baal's power over the seasons into four amulets. Earth, air, water, and fire. Hmm. It's the ancient uh, elemental roots. And the amulets scattered across the earth, buried by Sumerian priests. And Baal became impotent, dematerialized, like fog burned by the morning sun. You think the amulets are here? Just one. The earth amulet hidden in ice. It's said that the Sumerian priests buried each amulet in their elemental opposite. So fire into water. And earth into that which is as pure as air. Pure ice. Dr. Stanford, come quick. We've uncovered steel. Let me through. Out of the way. Let me through. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. It does look like a Sumerian marker. You went in this, don't you? There's a runic inscription here. Held in ice. This inscription here means touches earth. What? Death.
give me that. Oh, oh Doc. Oh. Oh, hey. Doc, I don't think you should do that. I don't have time for normal procedures. You're not approaching this dig rationally. You're ignoring every safeguard you ever taught me. I found one. Scott! Marta Pena, how you doing? Dr. Pena. Long time no speak. Do you see the electrical storm north of the 65th parallel? Yeah. Strange this time of year, but no biggie. No biggie? What altitude are you reading? Um, 10,000 feet. You're reading the troposphere. Check the upper atmosphere. How high does this thing go? Over 600,000 feet. No way. The storm can't go that high. The cloud itself doesn't, but the electrical activity does. I'm getting lightning hits upward. They're literally shooting out of the cloud. What kind of storm is this? A bad one. It's drawing electromagnetic energy from the Van Allen belt. I gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. Authorize the visitor's pass. 
pass for me. Oh, are you nuts? You can't come here. Wait, this is serious. I need to use your weather arrays. Dr. Pennon, this really isn't a good idea. Thanks, Scott. Uh, look forward to seeing you. What you got there, Lieutenant? It's uh, an electromagnetic storm surge. Magnifying at a rate of... Jesus. 0.22 per minute. How high is this thing? Bring up Keyhole Satellite Epsilon. This lieutenant. Commander Kittrick, defense is on the line, sir. Admiral Clett, line one. Commander Kittrick speaking. Yes, Admiral, we're tracking it now. Drones, right away, sir. Send up a P3, launch weather drones. Yes, sir. Wait, everyone, all right? Don't let anyone near this site until we figure what the hell just happened, all right? <sighs> oh, glad to see you kicking, old man. I thought we lost you there for a second. I'm damn near doing a jig. You have it? Good archaeologist never leaves a mega find behind. And you have this ball amulet in your possession. Oh, yeah. Did you realize this means the Sumerians traveled a lot greater distance than we could have ever imagined? Good work, Dr. Helm. This is extraordinary news for the museum. Don't thank me. I mean, this was Stanford's idea. The old bugger pulled off something greater than we could have ever imagined. Yes, of course. Now you must hurry back. I trust the museum's transport plane is OK? Yeah, but I mean, we still have much more to do here. Yes, and there's much more to do here as well. Anyway, winter's about to set in. We'll send an Arctic expedition after the Mayfall. Just get yourself and that amulet back here in one piece. Yes, sir. companion statue is his son, the storm god, Bao. Bao, right. Semitic word meaning master or lord, in this case, lord of storms. Well, the storm killed a man. Can I help you with something, Agent Risco? Yeah, actually, I'm looking for Dr. Helm. His office said he's away on private museum business and only you know his whereabouts. What do you want with Helm? I've been working for his arrest. <laughs> gotta be joking. Well, not me. I've got a lousy sense of humor. The prints from the break-in led nowhere until we ran them through the museum's civil identification program. Outer keypad, inner keypad, display case. Helm's prints, every single one. I don't believe it. 
Oh, come on now, doctor. You knew the scroll theft had to be an inside job. You're accusing one of archaeology's most respected men. Well, now one of archaeology's most wanted. So, where can I find him? These runic inscriptions say three things. First, Val's rage rests below Bosporus. Then we have the word Mamlu Val, which translates to kingly treasure. Kingly treasure? And the inscription on the back says, Thou hath light in the scroll. The scroll. What's that word right there next to Val? Fire trapped in a circle. Fire amulet. come here and what do you do? You use my name to get into the front gate. I'm screwed when they find out. Could you just calm down and give me three minutes, please? Three minutes, and then I've got to go. We're launching drones. No, 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 you can't send an aircraft into that. Why not? Because it's too risky. You're putting the lives of the crew in the danger. The crew aboard our hurricane watcher has seen far worse, Miss Pena. It's Dr. Pena, and I can guarantee you they've never flown into anything this dangerous. What exactly do you think they're flying into? A high voltage superstorm powered by the Earth's electromagnetic belt. That is something that has never happened before. Lieutenant, are you aware that this woman has been permanently banned from this facility? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm aware that there's a history here, sir. It's, it's just that uh, Dr. Pena claims to have information vital to national security. That ban was political. It had no legal basis. You repeatedly hacked our weather arrays, piggybacking our tech, some of which was classified. You did that? Technically, yes, but that's irrelevant. What I want Get her right out of here. Now. Okay, you know, no, that's, there's no need for that. Listen, the hurricane watcher's in danger. This is really dangerous. Don't touch me. Phrase, thou hast light in the scroll. It's a clue. But without context, it's a meaningless riddle. Yes, but it's step one in finding the next amulet. Are you saying that you can decipher the location of the fire amulet from this amulet? Not only the fire amulet, but to the water and air amulet as well. That is fascinating. We'll take it up with Dr. Miller when we get back. We're not going back. No, we're not. The sun's behind us. We're flying in the wrong direction. Oh, hey! Wait, wait. What have you done? Please, listen. What was the first inscription on the amulet? Uh, Val's rage rests below Bosporus. Wait a minute, you're, you're taking us to the Black Sea based on some obscure clue on the amulet? Are you out of your mind? Let me show you. But how, how, how did you... Drone transmissions. Look at that. The drones have hit the squall line. What are we reading? Surface layer stability is off the charts. Can't even measure the turbulent heat transfer. Convective conditions. Oh. We lost her. Pull out the drones. Join 
control's not responding, sir. Get out of there, Captain. Watch your left. Boarding mission. Flight 54, come in. Storm Command to P3, Flight 54, come in. Storm Command to 54, come in. Still no emergency beacon, sir. Storm Command to 54, come in. Sir. They're gone. I want every shred of data from those drones thoroughly reviewed. Let's piece this together today, people. You son of a bitch. You stole from an institution that supported your life's work? Before you judge me, just remember you wouldn't have found this without the scroll and its clues. You didn't have to steal it. The museum would have let you examine it. Could have gotten grants, uh, or press. I sent years of waiting for peer verification, oversight committees, museum bureaucracy, years that are wasted. God, that's our job. Well, I don't have years. Is your, is your cancer back? Lee, I'm running out of time. It, it, it still doesn't make it right. Dr. Miller's expecting us back, and we're gonna have to notify the authorities. No, we're going back. Lee? What? This, uh, strange line on the amulet next to the word meaning kingly treasure. Whoa. It fits. I'll be damned. We always thought that was missing text. It's a Hebrew symbol. It's het. So that means the code's key is eight. Equidistant letter sequencing. Yes. Uh, so are we talking like real Bible code here? Or? It's Torah code. Now remember, every Hebrew symbol has a corresponding number. So if you read the text all the way through to the amulet and take out every eighth letter. Dalet. A four. My God, it's a massacre. What was that flash going into the clouds? The storm appears to be drawing power from an external source. It's uh, redirecting it at the drones. What kind of external source? I don't know. Well, then find somebody who does. Sir, you kicked that somebody out of the building. Hit. Eight. So, what does all that mean? It's Sumerian coordinates. If we place them over a map, of ancient Bosphorus that will lead us to the fire amulet, which, when inserted into the scroll, will lead us to the other amulets as well. You're carting around the greatest manuscript find of our life, like a, a cheap treasure map? No, no, the scrolls are going back to the museum. Of course they're going back, but don't lose sight of the fact that we are on the verge of the greatest find in history. This is a bigger discovery even than the scroll itself and the fame and fortune we've been chasing all our lives. Now we have it within our grasp. Come on, Leanne. 
I mean, you have to admit this is starting to sound pretty exciting. See, this is an opportunity that happens once in a lifetime. There are three amulets out there waiting to be found. Sumerian latitude and longitude was a measurement called Ash, the equivalent of a quarter mile. The center point was always a holy site. The closest holy site to Bosporus was the Zyuzudra temple. So, if we use the numbers given to us by the scroll, 24.9 Ash by 35.8 Ash, the fire amulet would have to be here. We're gonna handle this. Same way we handled the first amulet. This is underwater. What did you expect? This is Baal's fire amulet. We're gonna need help with this. We need to get the museum in on this. No intervention. We'll find a way. We pull sonar, we dredge, we call in divers. Hey guys, there's something we didn't consider. Val's rage rests below Bosporus. The word for rage is Hogal, which means unseen. Maybe there's something else in this world, something hidden, a negative space between the lines. Wait, wait, wait. what did you just say? Negative space. I think that's it. Bow is negative space. And the numbers run from north to east, which uh, indicate power and hope. It's a positive numbers. We just invert the coordinates to the negative. Okay, so 24.9 ush by 35.8 ush. We're no longer underwater on a contemporary map. That land was once underwater from the Black Sea deluge, but now it's high and dry. If we're right, Stone markers. Just sitting out in the open like this, undiscovered? The world is full of ancient artifacts lying in the open, undiscovered, my dear. Now, this, uh, this fungus, this is lichen. It's very slow growing. From the thickness of this, I mean, these markers could have been placed here 12,000 years ago. When this land would have been underwater. It's here. It's right here. Anya, we need you to uh, explain something to us. You lost the P3, didn't you? That's none of your concern. None of my concern? When I tried to warn you that the crew was in danger, you threw me out of here, and now you drag me back and ask me to explain something? What the hell is going on? Yes, we lost the P3. Proceed, Lieutenant. My ghost storm in action. Ghost storm? You mean a supercell? 
Uh, no, no. Um, think of a ghost storm like a ghost writer. It's the unseen storm behind the storm everyone sees. So your so-called ghost storm supercharges a regular storm. Exactly. And where is this ghost storm? Why can't we see it? Uh, because it's made up of pure electromagnetic radiation taken from the radiation belt in the Earth's upper atmosphere. The Van Allen belt. Yeah. I've always feared that if a storm tapped into the Van Allen belt, it could draw an infinite supply of electromagnetic energy, triggering, um... Triggering an unending storm of cataclysmic proportions that would cover the globe. Is there a precedent for such a cataclysmic storm? Yeah, the great red spot of Jupiter. This is a storm that's been raging for centuries that's bigger than our planet. Picture Earth in the middle of that spot, and that's what we're looking at. Okay, you're waiting. This is crazy. That they used a road crew to excavate the Dead Sea Scrolls. <sighs> I don't have a choice. Hey, hey, guys, get off of there. Don't sit there. These aren't just rocks. They're ancient artifacts. Rocks have been in place for a long time, Lee. I'm sure not the first people to sit on them. Yeah, well, we have an obligation to protect the site. Guys, it's picking something up. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a slab about 10 feet deep. I'm being the back on now. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 hey, wait. We still have to mark the site, lay out the grid. No, 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 no. We don't have government clearance to do excavation. We got to get in and out quickly. We're just going to go in here like grave robbers? Let's just get the damn thing and get out of here. Let's go. Dig any further. He's only inches from the slab. We gotta finish the rest by hand. Come on, fellas, you're up. No, we don't have time for that. No. Keep digging. What are you, nuts? Dr. Stanford, we have to preserve the tablet. Get the tablet, it's the fire amulet we're after. Ah, he hit it! Dermak! Dermak! Look, this is sacrilege. I'm not gonna stand by and let you willfully destroy this artifact. Leave. Excuse me? Leave. Go back to your desk job. I can finish this by myself. Keep digging! We spotted this thunderstorm over the Black Sea two minutes ago. It's matured in 10 seconds. 10 seconds? That's not possible. Checked over the data three times, sir. Matured in 10 seconds. Well, what's its elevation? 20K and rising. So it's rising out of the lower atmosphere just like the other storm did. We have to consider the possibility that this is some kind of a stealth weapon. Weather is the most untamable force on the planet. I can't imagine any technology harnessing it. Oh, if we can harness the atom, we can harness the weather. We need to see if this storm evolves in the same way as the Arctic storm. You mean plug it into the Van Allen belt? Yeah. Okay, cut it!
got an amulet. It's coral. Bring it up. I think we should leave now. We can translate it later. No, no, the Kipdu is near. Kipdu? Read it, please. Hell to the sky. Feel the blaze of Val. Sir, this new storm has lightning striking sky... Skyward? Same as it did in the first storm. And it's wiring into the radiation belt. Lewis, put up the keyhole. What in God's name is that? Storm tendrils. Give me a whole Earth view. The Arctic storm has them, too. Looks like the Arctic storm and the Black Sea are reaching for each other. What happens when these storms connect? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Hello, Dr. Helm. Remember me, Agent Risco. We met up at the museum break-in. Glad to see you. How about this heat, huh? I thought back home was bad. Did the consulate send you to get me out of here, or what? Uh, no. I'm here to extradite you back to the States. Extradite? What, what, what for an illegal excavation? Uh, you're being charged with robbing the museum. Uh, that includes accessory to murder. Wait. I didn't steal the scrolls. Well, your fingerprints were everywhere, Doc. Both keypads, the gun next to the dead robber, who, by the way, wired a large amount of money to a Cayman account under the name of one Lee Rycliffe Helm. And that's you. Look, I don't know how they did the fingerprints. And I don't know how they did anything, but it wasn't me. Whoever it was has to be stopped, though. People are gonna die. Stop who? All right, look. I can tell you who's got the scrolls. She's got a promise that we have to go after him now. You got it. Give me a name. Dr. Owen Stanford. 
You got any proof to back that up? Yeah. He's got the scrolls. I've seen them. And where exactly is this Dr. Stanford? I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Dr. Stanford. Congratulations, Owen. You must be thrilled to death. You bring the equipment I asked for. Everything you need is at your disposal. I stole the scroll. What? Somehow he got my fingerprints all over the place. Risco is extraditing us. Oh my God, Stanford's out of control. All this time, he was just using us to, to break the code. I mean, I bet he's already deciphered where the, where the air amulet is. Lee, he's not just after the amulet. What do you mean? What he said before the storm broke. The kid was near. Which means? The Kibdu is secret mythology. It's the Sumerian treasure thought to be able to open the gates between our world and the next. <laughs> Sounds pretty crazy, doesn't it? Not after what we've seen. Stanford is unleashing something. If we don't stop him, then... do we have to destroy this thing? What about cloud seeding? We could build another storm to disrupt the growth of this one. No, that would only knock out the low-level storm clouds. Too much of the storm is entangled in the upper atmosphere. And what do you suggest? As I've been saying, this storm's power lies in its connection to the Van Allen belt. We have to kill that connection. You're gonna fly back, empty-handed? No scrolls? I mean, you're, you're gonna write that in your report, Agent Risco? You, you could have all three thieves on a silver platter. Me, her, and the mastermind behind all of this, Dr. Stanford. Well, you tell me where to find them, and I'll tell the pilot to go there right now. We've been excavating ancient artifacts buried by Sumerian priests over thousands of years ago. All right, each one of those artifacts has unleashed its own devastating storm. I think, I think Dr. Stanford is using the scrolls to unleash some supernatural force that could destroy the world. Excuse me?
You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Pilot's gonna fly at a lower altitude. For some strange reason, a lower altitude is calmer. We know how to find Stanford. How? Well, you have to follow the storms. Call the FSSC. Okay. I saw something out the window. Bow. You saw Bow. Her face? I don't know what I saw. I saw it. just made landfall on the East Coast. We're in the middle of a major world crisis. I don't have time for hunting from police psychics. I didn't say psychics. They're archaeologists, and I am telling you it is a matter of national security that we pinpoint where this next storm is going to hit. And I'm telling you there is no way that we can predict that. Well, I have two scientists who would say otherwise. They were at ground zero for both storms. Are you saying these people created these storms? No. They say that these are supernatural storms that were triggered by an archaeological find. Supernatural storms. This conversation's over. Wait, can I... Hi, this is Dr. Marta Pena. I'm a meteorologist. Could you please repeat what you just told Commander Kittrick? something. We've been digging up sacred Sumerian sites buried across the globe. Each of the two storms broke at the exact moment we excavated ancient artifacts. If we can determine where the next site is, that's exactly where the next storm is going to be. I think the locations themselves may somehow be connected. We just have to figure out how they're connected. And where to be next. You guys ever hear of ley lines? The Earth has natural magnetic currents called ley lines. Some say they're like a transit system for the weather. What do you know? There's a convergence point in the Arctic where the first storm broke. Would you look at that? There is a convergence point in the Strait of Istanbul where the second storm broke. In which direction are the storms expanding? Southwest. They just hit the states. Do any of the ley lines intersect uh, in America? Uh, Utah. Test site. Why are they putting up the hazmat tent? It is an air amulet. We're keeping it inside an airtight environment till we see how securely it's been preserved. Well, that's a waste of time. The ambulances are always buried inside a protective casing. You've been needlessly reckless in your pursuit of the Kibdo, which may or may not exist. Now we're doing things more prudently. Prudently? My museum, my diggers, my way. New storm forming. Don't tell me, Nevada. Energy was secured. 
Start the vacuum pump. Lowering air pressure. Beautiful. This is the third stone to evolve, and it's over U.S. soil. So, what are we going to do to protect our nation from catastrophe? Well, it seems to me, sir, that our best bet is weather modification. What kind of weather modification? Reverse cloud seeding. Are you kidding? No. We've developed an advanced dehydration powder. Each grain can absorb 5,000 times its weight in moisture. We've had great success with it dissipating smaller storms. You think it'll work on a storm of this scale? Yes, sir. Load up some ICBMs, shower that storm with a ton of powder. That cloud will dry up in no time. No, no. What have I been saying since you dragged me back here? The source of the storm is the Van Allen belt. Hence, the energy feeding the storm is electromagnetic. Dissipating the clouds would be like mowing the lawn. We've got to attack the storm at its roots. How? Detonate a thermonuclear bomb in the upper atmosphere above the storm where its tendrils connect to the belt. You you want to nuke the storm? This is no ordinary storm. The Van Allen belt has electromagnetic particles that exceed 100 megavolts. God forbid we unintentionally nuke the belt. We, we could... can target the detonation miles from the belt's altitude. It would be like detonating the entire world's nuclear arsenal. Look, only if we weren't careful. Forget it, Dr. Pena. There'll be no doomsday scenarios on my watch. Load up the powder. A block of obsidian. Obsidian! That fits the pattern. Move it, Stanford. We've got company. Put your hands up. Everybody against the vehicle. Let's go. Agent Risco, there's no need for guns. We're simply digging up an ancient artifact for the museum. Where's Stanford? See you there? Hands on the vehicle. Miller, there! Please, you're making a mistake. We are archaeologists. Turn around. Shut up. property, doctor. Been 
Nevada storm is rising out of the troposphere. And it's wiring into the radiation belt. How are the boys doing with the powder? Payloads are packed. We'll be launch ready in two minutes, sir. What's the mother storm doing? ICBMs are standing by for launch, sir. Launch the missiles. Commence firing. in 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nevada storm is evaporating. All right, then. Get that stuff loaded into as many payloads as you can. Right away, sir. Good work, people. Do you think Stanford made it? We have to assume that he's going after the last amulet. Which could be anywhere, and we don't have a single clue to go on. Well, if what he said is true, the last amulet will make Bao whole and unleash the storm god on Earth. Lee, we have to find a way to stop him. <sighs> These storms will kill us all. Wait, wait a minute. The last amulet is the water amulet, right? Which means it's hidden in its elemental opposite, eternal fire. Exactly. And El, Bao's father, who shattered Bao's power into the four amulets, is the lord of... Eternal fire. Let's go back to the museum. Are you okay? Did you see that? Did I see what? There was a face, the, the face. Uh, somebody get Dr. Penn some water. Uh, I didn't see a face.
latest data indicates that the third storm's wattage has tripled and is now fueling a rapid regeneration. Let me see this. Are you telling me that we just shot ourselves in the foot, Doctor? Draining the storm clouds of moisture in an artificially accelerated manner magnified the static charges between the residual dust particles left after the water vapor was drained. Simply put, yeah. Yeah, we shot ourselves in the foot. Is that an accurate assessment, Lieutenant? What's the worst case scenario? I'd say in the next 24 hours, we're going to see the development of megacyclones spawning countless subcyclones, a hail the size of basketballs. Lieutenant. Let's just nuke this son of a bitch. Sir, that is a very risky proposition. Dr. Pena, you seem to know the upper atmosphere better than any of us. I'll have you input the coordinates for a precise detonation so that we don't hit the Van Allen belt and blow us all to hell. Yes, sir. in this text. I was just playing around with the same letter sequencing we used in Stanford School. There's a message hidden in this text. Wash the father, burn his body, blow his ashes, bury his soul. Wait, say that one more time, S slowly. Wash the father, burn his body. It's the symbols. It's wash. It's the water in it. Burn his body, fire. What are the others? Blow his ashes. Air. Bury his soul. Earth. Water, fire, air, earth. Water, fire, air, earth. It's a combination. Water. Forget you mustn't let water touch it. What am I gonna do? Drool on it? Your palms might sweat. <sighs> now what? There's something else in these texts about the Sumerian priests creating these reliefs to assemble the four. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Ancient engineering never ceases to amaze me. Owen, think about what you're doing. I serve him now. And he demands what is rightfully his. 
I think that last storm knocked a few screws loose. Give me the water amulet. Hell no. Look, you've done enough damage already. Carol! Between the eyes next time. Hold on. Don't. Don't. Thank you, Lee. Do you remember the ancient Baal cults? It was they who created the statue for the purpose of bringing the Baal Kibdu. Naturally, the Sumerian priests were unhappy about that. So they built the El statue so the Kibdu could be destroyed. Ironic, don't you think? After thousands of years, these two statues should find themselves face to face. Doctor, we need those coordinates. I am working on it. What exactly do you think the Balkibdu is, Owen? The bridge between heaven and earth. And with these, I am the bringer of the four. Earth. Fire. Air. Look, I know you're ill and you're desperate. You really want to expose the world to Bao's wrath? Maybe the kid goes well, gold and jewels. But what if it's something else? Something otherworldly? A gift that heals me. Or perhaps I can be a god too. You're delusional. Those amulets have caused nothing but death and destruction. Death and destruction. <coughs> Isn't that what we archaeologists wallow in? The death of civilizations. storm cell forming over Washington. This is growing in magnitude faster than the other storms. Tendrils from the main storm are approaching. The new storm just wired into the belt. Initializing countdown. Executive access. Three, four, two, three, one, eight. Let's go, Doctor. We need those coordinates. We have to get the amulets into L. Commencing 30 second countdown. Clock's ticking, Doctor. Storm is drawing immense power from the radiation belt.
targets are in. Please, hurry. Come on. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, my God. It's covering the world. Stone's water just snowballing. Water. Fire. Air. Do you really think we should unleash another Sumerian god on Earth? El taught a lesson once. Kid obviously needs his butt kicked again. Massive power surge hitting the storm. Electromagnetic readings are off the charts. Stop the countdown. No. Sir, to nuke the storm now would have the same effect as hitting the radiation belt. It's in God's hands now. Detonation in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Storm's connection to the belt has been severed. It's dissipating. The entire storm, it's evaporating. Yeah.